Namaste everybody, hello, this is Paul Herkham here and I'm um, just making a short video um, yeah, about authenticity, uh, vulnerability and the inner child and um, it's almost like something that's been coming to me very strongly lately has been this subject of authenticity what does it mean to be authentic? What does it mean to be, um, you know, in our truest expression of ourselves? And I'm starting to sense that true authenticity, it comes from meeting our own vulnerability. It comes from opening to our own vulnerability, which really means finding that place inside us, which is kind of um, which is kind of innocent, which has been here from the beginning and is innocent, and that part of ourself that got kind of um, overladen with with many things that that didn't belong to him or her. You know, so for example, um, you know, fear or anger or rage terror, shame, guilt, all of the things that just through living in the kind of culture that we're living in, that these things will just get put on top of us. And unless we are able to, um, to meet those things and to move through those things, what often ends up happening for so many people is that there is a kind of internal split where those feelings and those um, sensations they become too painful they become too painful for us to be with so we kind of split off from that and we create another persona on top and this is often where um, you know we become you know, people pleasers, or we become codependent, or we become some version of ourselves that we think we need to be in order to survive, and often we do need to do that in order to survive. But the cost of splitting off from ourself at a certain point catches up with us, and we just somehow sense the inauthenticity of that. We sense that we're not being true to ourself or we're not uh, we, maybe we don't even know who we are at our core and I think that's common for so many people we have no idea who we are deep down so this is really the journey um, of spirituality of coming down and through you know there is a journey of up and out and realizing that the divine consciousness and the love and the wisdom and all of that and that is very beautiful, very important. And there is also the journey which is down and through. And the journey down and through really means, you know, feeling and opening to all of those um, feelings and sensations that we had to bury. So it means that we, um, we come deeper than the, than the kind of personal self and we come right down through these emotions but we don't get stuck in any of these emotions because actually none of them were ours in the beginning none of them belong to us and what we begin to find is that at our core really right at the core before any of the other stuff is just this natural innocence this core vulnerability this core, um, just this beautiful innocence really and the moment we can connect with that and the moment we can just again just sense that again and be one with that again then that allows us to be um, our authentic selves it allows us to just be who we are and what a great relief that is so that we're no longer playing roles, we're no longer 
in, involved in power struggles. We're no longer trying to, to get things and attain things and be somebody. And we, we, just, we just be ourselves. Just be ourselves. And um, in being ourselves and in finding our authentic expression, then that really enables us to be deeply intimate with ourselves and it allows us to be deeply intimate with others because there's no longer any games going on there's no longer any um, power struggles going on we're just ourselves we, we, we refine the part of ourself which we had to abandon and in refinding that there is a tremendous joy in that there is a tremendous freedom and a tremendous love in that where we begin to find the part of ourself which has been innocent throughout no matter what has happened in our lives no matter how good we've been how bad we've been how indifferent we've been there is something here which is completely innocent it is complete pure innocence and finding that and honoring that enables us to rediscover our authenticity our vulnerability and our intimacy so this is um, this is really beautiful it's a really beautiful part of the journey um, it's a part of the journey that I'm really enjoying myself so much um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there for now. Thank you for listening.